According to the National Education Association, 160,000 kids stay home from school every day because of bullying, and 42% have been bullied online. One in five teens have been bullied at school in the last year. The country is poised for change, the advocates say, though zero tolerance may not be the answer. This is the building block of the TASTE program. This is the pyramid that the foundation, if you live your life this way, hopefully it will keep you out of trouble and pave the way for greater things. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Your actions become your habits. The following skills taught in TASTE are scientifically proven to be evidence-based practices. Thinking errors. Anger management. Social skills. Talking. Empathy. You're finding that it really works in helping the children. There is much less recidivism. Not only are they doing it to help themselves, they are giving back to the victims and the community, and it gives them accountability. We only implement programs if they work. This one does. Supervising Judge David Freundlich, Suffolk Family Court. I promise you that I will not give up, because I think we need to start in the schools. We must make sure there's no room for vengeance, not just in the justice system, in our own personal lives, but in our schools. Before the program, when there was a problem and someone did something, they would just get put in detention or suspension, and that would be it. And usually they would just come back from that and you know, either do it again or show no change. Dr. Goldman's book and, and program um, taught me to not just get angry and, and ignore people after something bad happens to me or someone does something to me, and instead address the situation and, and talk to them. And instead of making it just a, a bad experience that I look back on with you know, sadness, instead making it a learning experience that I can look back on knowing how I handled it and how I could go forward with that into the future. We teach our children what to do in case of fire, but fail to instruct them how to prevent conflict and prepare them how to act when the inevitable conflict arises. Dr. Robert Goldman, Juris Doctor, Doctor of Psychology, creator of the TASTE program. The Dalai Lama said, if the 20th century is a century of violence, let us make the 21st century a century of dialogue. I know the TASTE program is, is amazing and a lot of the similarities with the things we do here in, in our center with uh, anger management and conflict resolution and I really believe that these are things that all kids need to learn. That's what prevention is. You know, my agency is a prevention center. We're the only prevention center on Long Island and people don't understand prevention. You know, they need to understand prevention more. That we got to get to these kids from a young age, teach them the skills that they need to help them make better choices. I was the hearing officer in superintendent's disciplinary hearings and I find uh, Dr. Robert Goldman's program very intriguing. I felt hamstrung uh, in meeting out consequences. According to New York State law, once you get to a superintendent's hearing, uh, the only consequence you can give is a suspension. You can only recommend counseling or, or other avenues. They cannot be mandated. 
uh, Dr. Goldman wants to give more authority uh, to the principals, so a lot of these incidents will never get to superintendents' hearings, and it's it's a very uh, proactive approach and um, definitely one that should be considered. We teach our children academics, and we're not teaching them how to get along with one another, and we're not teaching them how to problem solve social situations, and there's bullying all over. And I think that this helps to address that. And I think it would be helpful in, in any school, at any level. We're a very small school, and everyone has to be on board. And I think the preparation for this that Bob did with our staff was invaluable, and with our students. Well, I think in today's you know, climate and education, I think bullying is a, you know, just bullying and, and meanness is uh, such a huge hot topic right now and it's so prevalent. So um, I think each school could probably take something different from the book and maybe apply it towards their population and hopefully just create a better atmosphere in their school. Kids can't be taught things, I think, in the heat of the moment. You know, when the bad stuff is happening, the social bad, the drama in high schools, which I hear and read and I'm exposed to every day, um, can be very painful for kids. and I'm hoping if they would read this book and go through the lessons that, that Rob had, you know, the lessons that have been created to go with the book, it would help them think in the heat of the moment and maybe take a step back. I think it impacted a lot of the kids. I think, quite honestly, we have to find a way to keep it going. Um, you know, when we were doing it and doing the lessons, it was, you know, hotter and, and they, were, they were more, so I think it behooves us to figure out how to keep it going. I think just the thought process is a great thing with these kids. And, and so they take it home and they talk about it with their parents. I feel like it has a really good lesson to teach. Like, forgiveness doesn't always mean that you let it go. Like, oh, it's okay. It, it means like you accept that what the person's done, you don't let it ruin your life and you move on. And like, it's a good lesson because about not only forgiveness, but about like helping people and helping people with get on with their life, like one mistake doesn't have to hold you back forever. It made them think about situations that they had been in in their life, and they did, I think what impacted them the best was explaining the ripple effect to them. I don't think some of our students realized that their behavior can affect somebody and it can ripple on down. Even though we had to put our region's curriculum on hold for three weeks. I felt it was beneficial. I had some reservations. Now if I see somebody, it just happened to, make a very um, mean remark to another student, and then the other student made the mean remark to that one, and when it started to go in the ripple effect, and I was able to stop it. I was able to explain to them. So, um, even though as a Regents teacher, I worry about those Regents, um, it, it was fantastic. It was the best thing we could have done for them. This $210,000 investment on one child at a rate of 85 recidivism rate really guarantee any type of evidence-based practice. But this TASTE program has been successful in reducing the rate of recidivism rate to 15% to those children that successfully uh, finish the taste program, but we don't want to stop there. We want to reach out to schools and to communities so that they can turn vengeance around and take whatever act of crime or conflict and seize it as a teachable moment.